Hi! Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I'm back in the kitchen just for a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to be because literally this is the first time in months that every single person that's in my family is out of the house. So let's just take a moment to enjoy the peace. We know it won't last. So let's get into the channeling session today. I am not sure at the time I'm recording this video who I'm gonna channel. I know I'm gonna channel someone. Yes, that's true, of course, but I don't know who. So I'm gonna feel in and see who comes forward from kind of the group of some of my favorites that I love to talk to and we'll see kind of what unfolds, okay? Sounds good. All right, so let's do that. I'm just going to give myself an opportunity to feel into my heart space, open up my heart. Yeah, I feel a little anticipation. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, yes, come on in. Freddie Mercury. All right, thank you, Freddie. Oh, first one that showed up right away. Oh, yes, I love you so much. Like, I just want to stand up, give him a hug, and oh my goodness. Oh, yay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> thank you for coming today. I really needed a pick me up. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I needed a pick me up today. Mm -hmm. I needed to feel some love, and so I do. Ooh, do you guys feel that with Freddie Mercury's energy? Just feel, just take a second. And just feel his energy resonating at your heart chakra, at your heart space. Feel that love. He just, he comes in and he kind of just goes, here you go. <laughs> so Freddie has a color for me. He shows up as red. He has an aura of red, which is a combination of passion, of the energy of love, like full on love. And also the energy, a bit of an energy of a, a grounding, like a stability in that love and that passion. And, and that's quite a challenge. I am so glad that you are here to talk to us because I want to talk more about the empathic heart and us as empaths. I'm doing some work specifically with empaths in the fall here. My coaching, um, my intuitive coaching work is going to be focused on the heart intuitive for the fall. And so I would love some some insight from you and i'm sure the viewers at above life channel would also appreciate that as well so what can you share with us about our empathic hearts at this time right here right now oh he says it's not much different than it normally is sweetheart and he's saying um the energy is Wow, okay, so obviously I've been working a lot with my divine feminine because some of the words that he's using are very, um, I feel them in my body. So he's saying, life is very sweet and the reason for you to be in such a state as you are now is you are contemplating how to work with your heart or how to to, he says, you're truly asking about investing more in your relationships, investing more in your relationship with life itself, investing more in feeling, experiencing the beauty, the joy, the, like I'm going to say the zest of life, but he's like the passion. Life is filled with desire and, and this, this longing. And he's saying your heart feels this, this um, a separation between what you know in your mind or your mind thinks is you are capable of and versus what your heart just totally believes and he's like believe your heart because your heart just believes your heart believes in you your heart believes in you and the key to to overcoming any kind of um diversity or i'm sorry any kind of ad adversity or obstacles that you have is really about believing so strongly in what you really want for your life. And it's not, he says, it's not like physical things, you guys. He said, he's like saying, it's not like goals to achieve or checking the list off or creating a goal and making a plan. It's not that. He's talking about what you want as in, it could be as simple as a, a great cup of coffee or a 
fun conversation with friends where you can just laugh, like you could just belly laugh or an encounter at the grocery store with a cu the cutest little kid and you just wanna like squeeze their cheeks because they're just so cute. Like that, he's like, like that's the that's what you want from life is is those relationships, those connections, those the relationship with life as a whole is what he's showing. The relationship with life as a whole, he's like, it's supposed to be joyful, and you complicate it. <laughs> Basically, is what he's saying. I know, I do. I totally complicate it. Let me just tell you, I know, I know, I know, I know, I do. I know. I, I mean, do you? Do you guys complicate? Yeah, yeah, we make it harder on ourselves than we need to, don't we? Mm -hmm. You had me at coffee, my dear. You had me at coffee. I had to have a sip of coffee when you mentioned great coffee. The smell of good coffee, ooh, it's so awesome. And so that, it's like moments like that. He's like, yeah, you just have to, it's like you savor it. You, you have to, um, and he says, it's, it's an appreciation but um, it's so funny because he says gratitude, but <laughs> he says, Bridget, I know how much you don't like the buzzwords like be grateful, have gratitude and everything magically will be better, which is not the only way or the only thing that you should be doing right now or that you can be doing in order to feel better in your heart space. And as an empath, we need to know a lot of stuff right now because there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. So, Freddie, can you give us some specific tangible advisement about um, let's say end of August 2021 or September 2021 as we're wrapping up summer where I'm at it's summer you guys so I'm gonna say that it's the season here and then we're moving into the fall which for me at our house is like back to school seasons change and you guys know how much I love the sun right especially if you watch my fairy grasshopper channel you guys totally know I'm trying to figure out where my camera is here because I'm not used to sitting at the table okay I'm probably looking all over sorry if that's weird but um trying to kind of um, we're shifting into a different phase and I'm like kind of sad because I'm gonna miss summer but I'm also like okay so what's new what's next what's next and with that comes a lot of sensory um, invitations. And so tell us, Freddie, at the end of August 2021 and into September 2021, what kind of advisement do you give us as empaths? So in our heart, for our heart space. He says, do not think. Don't think about things. Don't get so mired in the, the thought processes of things. He's saying that, that just messes up the productivity. It stunts your creative growth. And what you really want and what you need as a person, as a soul, as a spirit in, in a person's body is to have creative outlets. You need to be able to take that creative energy, that passion, and, and work it into a a, a forum or format or ways of expression. It could be, he says, it could be a relationship. It could be a new project. It could be, you know, renovating um, a part of your house. It could be starting a new job or starting um, college or starting a new relationship. It could be anything. Maybe it's, uh, and he's showing me very creative stuff too, like writing. Somebody's a writer. And so there's an acknowledgement to writing. He's literally showing me a pen, a golden pen in writing. So if this is you and you've been wondering whether you should start writing, the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. What are you, don't wait, don't wait. What are you waiting for? Come on. Write. Write to your heart's content is what he would say. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, Freddie, I just love you. Your energy is so pure and beautiful. He's also showing compassion. So the next piece is have compassion for yourself during this time from August and to September. Have compassion with yourself. And he says, um, this is, it's like easy for lip service, he says. It's easy for lip service, but it's, it's really not something that's common. It's not, compassion is not common sense. Compassion is, yeah, can you explain what compassion is? How about you define that for us from a spiritual context? Like in a way that our human minds can understand like energy of compassion and what that means, okay? It is connected to desire. 
you're right, he said to me, because like, it's funny because in my brain I'm going, wow, all of a sudden I see this, com- this compassion energy, this pink, light pink compassion energy with this red, rich, like root chakra, sacral chakra energy of desire and drive and motivation and that kind of thing. And I see them together and I'm like, ooh, compassion and desire. I like that. Can you say more about that for us? He says, well, yes, you are right. You're correct that it is connected to divine feminine. So I'm like having this conversation ahead and then speaking it to you. That's why it feels like I've already had it here. As he says something, I say to you, it takes a second delay. He says, yes, it's connected to divine feminine, but it's not just, it's not one one, um, form of expression. It's the expressionist of you, the, the, uh, the, um, it's interesting because he shows me I, okay, so he shows me individualism. He shows me a independent nature. He shows me I as a person. So the compassionate energy connected with desire is really about this independent individual. He's like showing me it's like a sense of belonging, but a belonging within yourself so that then when you go and cohabitate with other people, interact with other people, collaborate, communicate, whatever it is, then that individual sense of belonging is just a natural way to then connect with other people at the heart with the sense of belonging. So it grows the belonging, it, gl- it grows the inclusion, it, gl- it grows the, the energy of acceptance and freedom and love and, and then compassion just is here. It's connected to the sense of belonging that is sourced from your individualism, that is shared as you step into a group with other people through your heart space. And this is what compassion and the desire to be connected and with showing up with your full on compassionate energy essence like present. And he's saying, it's, this is not a conversation about vulnerability. This isn't a talk about that. This isn't a talk about being more transparent or more authentic. This is a talk about knowing you, I as an individual, and that you belong. And inside of yourself, the belonging is to the source, the one. So that then when you go and you couple up with someone, or you connect with your family, or you connect with your work group, or you connect with your communities, you then connect at a heart level that is so held in a grounded state of compassion that the connection then allows everyone to feel loved and free and and individually honored without you having to consciously think about it and act a certain way and use certain terms or not use other terms or really be super ultra sensitive. It's just you're, you're just naturally in truth, in compassion. And there is a desire, he's saying, and there is a desire for all of us. Everyone wants to feel belonging, but it's not an external experience. It is an I internal experience that comes from the source. So Freddie, good question here, good question. Is source then, when you say source, are you saying God, like a religious figure, God, or a a one prime source of energy that we're all um, accessing and connecting to together? Or are you saying like a universe, like a mysterious cosmos? Do you have a particular way or frame a lensing from the afterlife that can help us understand what you're talking about really when you say source? What, What does that mean? He says, it means all of the things. It's everything as individual and then collectively the whole. So it is all of the things. However you, whatever label you use, whatever term you use, whatever feels right like for you, it's all the same. It's all the same. He says, it's like saying thank you in many languages, right? And he says, it's like love, darling. It's like love has many languages and everyone understands. You embody it, and that is the fullness of life. That is what you're seeking anyway, is to be in relationship with life and to have experiences that are very real. That's what your heart needs. That's what you as an empath have come here to experience. And also, so you receive during your experiences and you express during your experiences. But but many, many people make the mistake of focusing on the action outcome when they then completely miss the boat. The opportunity is in the interactions, in the figuring it out of things, in the mystery. You have to have mystery. And I know mystery drives you crazy, he says, but that's what's beautiful. 
like that passionate desire that leads to joy and this feeling of fulfillment in a moment based on an experience, a connection from your individual source into another's sacred heart, compassion, acceptance space. You see yourself in each other. That's the message for here now, for, for end of August into September, is you see yourself in the other's space, in, in that space, in that heart. And he says, it's not in the faces. You, although you can see, yes, because I've been having this conversation um, with my spirit guides about the eyes. Like the eyes truly are the window of the soul. I'm not sure who said that. I know it was a beautiful, famous writer and such. But the eyes truly are the window of the soul. And I, I need to talk to someone. I need to channel with someone about that. And I know somebody I can talk to about that. But I, I feel this, this very true, empathic, um, it's like an empowerment. It's like a rising up of the empathic heart, a recognition of the power of the heart and the quiet stillness of ourselves and our independent and individual nature. And yet that we have come here collectively together to have the shared experiences and the experience and the process is the point, not the goal and the outcome. Check the box, check the box. Like Freddie said, it's not about that. It's not about that, but it does feel that way, don't, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pressured, right? I mean, you were you had to have felt pressured like to create records and albums and things. He says, no. He says, no, actually, not particularly no. So motivated and inspired by, he says, something bigger than yourself. The creative force is, is so, so incredibly filled with, with this, this wonderful, just really bursts of energy and being in that place can really spoil you, he says. It really, it really makes you feel like this is the most magical spa place ever, space ever to, to be in. And then when you don't have that, you feel lonely for it and you feel almost disconnected from it. And he says that disconnection is a myth. It is an illusion. It's not the truth. It is what you choose for it to be and how you feel life is really indeed your choice. It really is. But when you express instead of internally connect to your individual sense of belonging, you've got to do the first thing. You've got to do the first step, which is the I, the individual source of belonging must be connected. And then in the expression, it's beautiful and flowing. And then the creative energy doesn't feel disconnected. You know, he says, you do need to take a break. You know, you need to rest. It's so much passion and so much just desire, moving, 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 moving. And he says, it can just, can feel so good and when it's there it can just feed you and fill you and and when you share that with other people just that the process when you share the process it it changes things it really changes things yeah you're right I can feel that mm -hmm. when you share the process yeah Oh, Fred, that's so beautiful. You are just so amazing. You are so amazing. People love you so much. They love to hear from you and talk to you. They, they love it. So I want to make sure that I say a big heartfelt thank you to Freddie Mercury. Thank you so much for being here, for having this conversation, inspiring us, to giving us intel about empath and what we need to know as far as guidance for August and September, giving us some great wisdom and infused heart-based energy. So feel your heart space, just feel your heart. Take a breath and exhale out and feel that loving energy from Freddie Mercury right here, right here, you guys, right in that heart space. Oh yes, you feel that? Mm -hmm. It's that easy. It's that easy to feel good, to feel better, to feel more authentically yourself. Thank you, love. Appreciate it so very much. Thank you so much. All right. And thank you for being here, viewers, on Above Life channel on YouTube. Thanks so much. I hope I've inspired your spirit today and filled you with some hope and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all. So live it. Just live it. Thanks so much for being here.